Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unfog with Dr. Atahar Parvin. So in this quick session, I am going to discuss few most important formulae related to physics for Karnataka TET. It will be helpful for uh, paper 1 and paper 2 both. Uh, but I cannot say which question will come where because uh, the tough ones you can assume that will come in paper 2. Easier ones will be in paper 1. Okay, so much I can say. Okay. And this class will be of course useful for all other teacher recruitment examinations as well. Okay. So let us start discussing the most important formulae of physics. Let us take it as a last minute revision. Okay. So who all have not made a formula list in physics, don't worry. You can watch this session and learn all the important formulae. Okay. So the first formula is related to chapter energy. It is very common formula and uh, that is uh, of kinetic energy and uh, potential energy. So we know that kinetic energy is equal to half mv square and potential energy is equal to mgh. But then if they are talking about mechanical energy, it is sum of kinetic energy and potential energy. Okay. Of course, here m is mass of the body, v is velocity of the body with which it is moving and g is acceleration due to gravity, h is the height at which the body is having its position. Okay, so kinetic energy is the energy of the body which is moving. Okay, so the kinetic energy is the energy possessed by a moving object and potential energy is because of its position. Okay. Then uh, next we can talk about uh, gravitation. So there is a universal law of gravitation uh, wherein we can see that there is a force between uh, two masses and uh, that force is the gravitational force which is equal to g into m1 m2 upon r square. So this uh, m1 m2 is the mass of uh, uh, two objects and r is the distance between those two objects and g is of course the gravitation constant okay then let's talk about optics so here when we talk about optics it is very important for us to understand that the light is having one speed the speed value is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second okay and another important formula is of a uh, refractive index that is a c upon v where uh, c is the speed of light and v is the velocity of light in given medium okay so c is the speed of light in vacuum okay and v is velocity of light in given medium okay then we have this uh, lens formula which says that 1 upon f is equal to 1 upon v minus 1 upon u where f is the focal length u is the distance of the object and v is the image distance and also we have this Snell's law uh, which says that n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 so here n1 is the refractive index of the medium and n2 is the refractive index of uh, air okay so when uh, this ray of light travels from one medium to another medium then you can say that n1 sin theta 1 is equal to n2 sin theta 2 okay Then we have a formula in electricity. I am giving you a few simple formula like Ohm's law is there. V is equal to IR and we have a formula for electric power which is equal to V into I where V is the voltage and I is the current. And if we talk about electric energy, then that electric energy is equal to power into time. Okay. And also we have the most famous Newton's second law which relates forces and the acceleration where force is equal to mass into acceleration. So this is Newton's second law and you can also replace A by acceleration due to gravity also. So you will uh, have to treat uh, acceleration due to gravity as acceleration. So you get force is equal to mg. Okay. So direct questions are asked in the examination wherein you can just substitute the values and uh, find the force. Okay. F is equal to mg or F is equal to ma. Then talking about pressure, it is equal to force upon area. So if they give you any two terms in this, either they give force and area or they give power and force or they give power and area, you have to find the third term using this formula pressure is equal to force upon area. Okay. 
and a few more uh, important uh, points from which you can expect uh, direct questions. Uh, one is about the series and uh, parallel resistors. So, if the resistors are connected in series, then you have to just sum them up. And if they are connected in parallel, then you have this formula 1 upon R effective is equal to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2 plus 1 upon R3 and so on. Okay. And then when you talk about resistors, it is important for us to also understand about the color coding of the resistors. So, you should know the digit, the multiplier and the tolerance value especially for gold and uh, silver and if it is none also you should know the value and uh, to remember this uh, color code there is one uh, trick also that is B. B. Roy of Great Britain had a very good wife. Okay. So, black, brown, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, grey, white. So, from black to white you have 0 till 9. Okay. And tolerance for gold is uh, plus or minus 5 and for silver it is plus or minus 10 and if you don't have uh, any band then it is plus or minus 20. Okay. So, this is about electricity. So, okay friends this was a very quick revision for few important physics formulae uh, because uh, uh, many aspirants were requesting me for uh, uh, this class where I, I will be discussing the important uh, formulae in science. But in science, I cannot give you formulae for chemistry and biology because this is a uh, last minute revision. I can give you physics formulae. That's the reason why I have made this class. So, please do like, share and uh, subscribe to my channel. And also, please share this uh, uh, class as soon as uh, possible because uh, all your friends and other aspirants will get chance to revise physics formulae. Okay. Thank you. All the best. Bye.